Welcome from Marburg, Germany, the physical hometown of the Virtual Linguistics Campus. In the past, a number of questions regarding the use of the VLC material have been put forward to me, and I would like to answer them in this video. Perhaps the most important message first. The Virtual Linguistics Campus is a huge open educational resource, that is, all materials on the Virtual Linguistics Campus, that is, text, images, animations, simulations and video, all that material is free and can be reused. All you have to mention is the author, which is of course the Virtual Linguistics Campus, the exact reference, for example, VLC 104 Unit Computational Morphology, and the URL of that reference, which can be copied from your browser's address bar. And all our videos on YouTube are licensed as Creative Commons with the addition BY, which means by, that is authorship. And that means you can freely use them too. Again, mention the author, obviously, the Virtual Linguistics Campus, the reference, that is the title of the video, for example, PSY 109, the motor theory of perception, and the URL, which you can obtain via the share option in YouTube. On the Virtual Linguistics Campus itself, the material has been packed into different so-called repositories. For example, the VLC 101 repository, Linguistic Fundamentals, which contains 16 introductory topics to linguistics, or VLC 102, Speech Science, with more than a dozen topics on phonetics and so on. There are two central options of using these repositories. Option number one, you want to use a repository as a student. This is the most common option. It requires that you first register on the VLC and then self-enroll to your repository, let's say VLC 102 Speech Science. Once enrolled, you can freely use the repository as an online course, as a source of information, or simply to download parts of the course for further use. You have access to all options, to the how to proceed instructions at the beginning of a topic, to the mastery tests, to the suggestions for in-class activities, and of course, to the main content activities. In each repository, you can earn your digital badges. And if you wish, you can get the statement of accomplishment, which even specifies the workload if your total score is higher than 70%. Do whatever you intend to do. There's no obligation whatsoever and, of course, no fees. That's the policy of the Open Educational Resource Programme. But there is still a second option. Let's say you're a lecturer and you want to use a VLC repository as a regular course in your institution. Let's take VLC 102 Speech Science again as an example. In that case, you should contact us and we would generate your customized new course from VLC 102, now relabeled LIN 102, with your personal course title and course tile. You will then be given trainer rights, which means that you can even modify your content, add your own stuff or delete existing parts. And your students? Well, they will be given a special enrollment key so that you can control the participants of your personalized course. Let's summarize. I hope that I've outlined the two main options of using the Virtual Linguistics Campus in a reasonable way. But let me make one point absolutely clear again. In both cases, there are never any fees. There are no restrictions on what you do, let alone any obligations. Our central principle is Make an offer to all of you using multimedia where possible, video combined with text where suitable, and make access to the materials as simple as possible. Well, that's it. The rest is up to you. Thanks for your attention and see you on the Virtual Linguistics Campus in one way or another.